Hello everyone and welcome to Fruition Fridays on Friday the 7th of June 2024. The deck I'll be using is Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Cards. The focus is on stuck. So let's choose a card and see. mountain goat. There's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to correct it. I'm sure we've had this one before. You've been feeling unsteady, shaky or out of sorts lately because there's an imbalance in your life to bring back balance start with an appraisal of your physical health. Get an exam from a reputable doctor who practices integrative medicine, sometimes called a holistic physician. There's no need to be alarmed, but if there's something identifiable in your body's biochemistry that's off and can be easily corrected, you'll benefit from such an analysis. Be sure to exercise every day, eat nutritionally sound food, preferably organic, and get plenty of rest then take some time to continue your assessment by checking out other areas of your life such as the polarities of work, play, social, solitude, giving, receiving and any others that occur to you. It's unrealistic to expect your life to stay completely in balance at all times as it's a continuous interplay between the various polarities. Even the seasonal adjustments of light and dark slowly and gradually shift in a ceaseless dance. Notice how you feel when something is out of balance and then take the necessary steps to adjust in ways that provide greater equilibrium. Associations, sturdiness, sure-footedness, resilience, determination, quickness, confidence, aspiration, ambition, independence, strength, practicality, stability, dignity, perseverance. Stuck mountain goat. How often do they get stuck in their environment? So can you learn from that for your circumstances? Have you backed yourself into a corner? Has somebody done the same to you and you're thinking I will never get out of this situation because literally my back is against the wall? Is it? Learn to manoeuvre. What does a mountain goat do? It's rather nimble. Think of its natural setting, say for example in the Himalayas. How does it get from there, up there? And then when you see it precariously, as we think, on the edge of a mountain, how does it negotiate that path, the rocky terrain? It's the same in life, it's not always smooth for most of us, if not all of us. So there will be some boulders in the way. So do you just lay down and let them crush you? or? Do you stand strong and bounce them off? Are you really stuck? If you are, fair enough. And maybe there's nothing you can do in the situation, but look again. I always say look again. Because there's a solution to every problem, or so life says. Which practical steps and means can you take to become in a position where you're no longer stuck? Think back to where you were, to where you are now, to where you will be. Are the situations previously similar to what you're going through now and you came through those or are the situations and you didn't come through them? But if you didn't come through them, why not? What can you learn for the fact that you were stuck? Maybe you still are stuck. So how do you get through from there to here? To where you need to be. I'll leave a further description and I'll also leave you with a thought of the day. You're not stuck, you're just committed to a certain pattern of behaviour because they helped you in the past. Now those behaviours have become more harmful than helpful. The reason why you can't move forward is you, because you keep applying an old formula to a new level in your life. Change the formula to get a different result becoming unstuck. Please hold that thought, leave a comment and take care.